All right, so let's look at some more output tricks. Um, a big part of what we do in these early classes, because we're not working with a GUI, is we learn how to do these really usable outputs in the terminal. That's what you're seeing over here on this right-hand side right there, uh, is the terminal. It's a text-based shell, right? So let's start with uh, a couple of useful pieces of information. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab um, a couple of print statements here. So you can see I'm assigning a string to my name and an integer to my number. Um, and I'm doing that implicitly, obviously, because I haven't cast it or anything. Um, and then I've just created a couple of simple print statements. My name is Mr. B and my favorite number is 42. And if we print that, we can see, yep, the name is Mr. B, my favorite number is 42. And you can see that I've got a new print statement for each line. If I needed a line between them, I would just add a print statement like that, and now there'd be a line between them. Um, and that's okay, nothing, nothing wrong with that. But there are some cooler ways to go at things. So instead of doing it all like this, let's say I need to do it all on one line, or I want to do it all on one line. One of the big things about Python um, is keeping things simple and easy to read. Uh, and those two things don't always go well together, but uh, this is an example of fairly simple, and at least as a Python programmer, easy to read. So I can print, uh, let's go ahead and do my, Name is, okay, my name, and my favorite number is my number. All right, let's take a look at that. Same thing, and Mr. B, I have your numbers 42. I don't like this, that, that second part is running off, right? You can see how it's wrapping, that bugs me. So what I'd really like to do is put it on two different lines. My name is Mr. B, and on the second line, my favorite number. But I, instead of doing a bunch of print commands, because frankly, that's just a lot of typing, um, I'm just gonna put an escape character in there. So what's an escape character? This thing right here, that goes inside of our string literals, but it's actually a piece of code that tells Python something special. In the case of a slash in, any guesses? New line. So now when I run this, my name is Mr. B, my favorite number is 42. That slash in is an unprinted character. It's not visible. Now we're gonna learn how that causes some problems later in the course, um, but that's a, a really easy way to add extra information um, without it. So you can also see when I do this a couple of times, they kind of wrap on each other, right? Um, and maybe I wanna, I wanna start with some, with some easy uh, new lines just to make sure it's nice and clear. So I can add new lines there at the beginning and you can see now it puts that nice spacing there. So new lines are, uh, are really cool uh, and uh, let you type a little bit less. I don't have to have a whole bunch of print statements gumming up my, my otherwise pretty program. Another challenge that people run into a lot is columns. Um, so maybe I wanna have a columnar format. So maybe I wanna say, okay, so I'm gonna create my header, print, and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna say name um, and number. So that's my header, right? And then underneath that, I'm gonna put my name and number, right? Name, print, my name and my number. Um, and that sorta kinda, sorta kinda works. And you know, I could try to get in here and, and, and add some spaces, right, to make it pretty and try to get things to line up and do a lot of spacing. And, um, but another way I can do this and be really consistent is uh, with another escape character. So my name, and then escape tab, escape tab, escape tab. Now watch what happens with that, right? It moves over automatically. And now I can do the same thing in here. I still need my, my quotes, but I don't have to guess. I know it's three tabs over, right? So now they line up really pretty. Um, and then if I want to do the hard work of, of adding things in there, you know, I could print and try to make a, a literal line here, right? Um, and I might have to do some guesswork then to get the right length. Um, it's not quite long enough, so we'll add some more there. Now there are other ways to go at it, but this is, this is the, the quick and dirty. I'll just add a few more there. 
until I get where I want it. Still not quite enough asterisks there to make a pretty line. Let's try that. There, so now I've got my name, my number, and my columns underneath it. And uh, if I'm bugged by the fact that there are a need for new, more lines at the end, you know, I could certainly add a couple of new lines there um, to get that down. Oops, sorry. Inside. Um, to get that all, yeah, so a comma, asterisk, new line, new line. There we go. That should work better. And I did everything all nice and pretty. And I could certainly add some up here to do the same thing. To get that all is one nice box. Um, you know, let me put that up at the top for you. You can see a nice box, right? So there are all kinds of ways I can go at this. But that's a couple of, uh, of useful escapes that come in handy a lot.